Love. And going into this race, one person is left in the ITV set and just one person going for 10 grand. That ticket's on Max Vega. So it's Group 1 action tomorrow with the Al Chicago Lock Inch down at Newbury. But this is the Stradivarius Farewell Tour starting here at York. Mark. And they start as close as they get to the city centre here. Right at the end of the back straight, the five stairs in the game, and they're off in the Paddy Power, Yorkshire Cup, Group 2, Stradivarius to the inside rail as they broke in a perfect line over a mile and three quarters. And as they go through the very early stages, it is Thunderous who moves on to Max Vega, just over a length away, racing in second, and then the mayor, Search for a Song, is in third. Stradivarius in fourth in the very early stages. A Tash Khan has been dropped in as Trey. Brian Ellison said he would be last of the quintet as they now link up with the main course with another mile and a half ahead of them and it is Thunderous and Franny Norton who are out in front now by a controlled and measured length and a half to Max Vega who races in second. He in turn is a further length and a half in advance of Search for a Song who is in third. Stradivarius on the inside is in fourth position and still the back marker is Tash Khan. There's been no change in the order as they complete their first first half mile and they make their way now towards the first the dog leg turns which is taken as they go towards the final nine furlongs and it is still thunderous who leads the way to max vega in second two lengths back now to search for a song who races up on the outside of stradivarius who just creeps just a little closer and a further length and a half back to tash khan at the back of the field so they're about to make their way towards the halfway point and still thunderous is out in front max vega racing in second Jason Weaver, what do you think about Stradivarius? He's about three lengths off the speed. Yeah, thanks, Mark. All of them travelling very, very smoothly. The telling point, if anything, Mark, is when the injection of pace comes, Stradivarius normally hits that flat spot. Would it happen today? They've got a decent tempo so far. It's been a very even gallop set by Freddie Norton on Thunderous. He's a very, very fine front-running jockey, as we know, and he's really now beginning to wind up the ante as they make the turn into the home straight. Less than five furlongs to go in the Yorkshire Cup. So it is Thunderous who leads the way. Max Vega is racing in second. Search for a song and Stradivarius joined at the hip in third and fourth. Tash Khan already been ridden along last of the five. So they're coming down the centre of the course, three furlongs to go, Thunderous still has the lead, Max Vega now in second, Frankie Dottori gets to work on Stradivarius, he's got a scene between the leading duo, on the outside search for a song, he's already hard driven by Chris Hayes, and still Tash Khan is the back marker, just under a quarter of a mile to go, Stradivarius has now the middle here of the maze my screaming shouting fifth leg on show he's come in he's relaxed around the panic afterwards and then just a super little performance again from him he's incredible that that's, it gives you goosebumps I, I think everyone was lifting him home everyone wanted him to win and he's wise he never wins by 10 lengths they're never huge margins but Wow, there's not much more to say than wow. And look how cool John Goldstone strolling back with Bjorn Nilsson, the owner, in the cap. Phew, I think the owner will be saying. Bradley on the right, who looks after him, Tony Proctor on the left. And you can see Frankie with the kisses. This will mean a lot to him, and this will be a nice touch. 
because there'd normally be a stampede to the winners' enclosure, but the Yorkshire folk know they now get their chance in front of the grandstands. Watch yes. this to say thank you and goodbye to Stradivarius. Well, he actually surprised me. He took me into the race very quickly, and I know that he pulls up in front by no choice. And he shot clear, then he thinks he's won, and he stops. But that's him. Just a word on, on John Gosden's work and the team at home to, to keep this horse doing what he's doing. Amazing, uh, John and Thady. We change his work, we change his routine, just to keep him interested. And you know, at the end, you know, as a master trainer, I can't tell him too much. Yeah, I'm just uh, one of you as employees. And, and just get the front two suits. <laughs> I don't know whether you had that. John, we'll let Frankie go. Congratulations, Frankie. But if I can just have a word with you. And Frankie would say you're, you're a master trainer. Uh, just what do you think about this horse that's so special? Well, he's having a shout now, so he, uh, he, he was a lot of fun to saddle in the stable area, mostly on his hind legs. But uh, look, he's, he's totally unique beyond Red Him. He's been fantastic to keep him training. He's a, Crowd pleaser, and look, all being well, as long as the ground doesn't go soft or heavy, we hope to go on to, to Ascot, which is always the plan one run here in Ascot. How nervous were you today? Well, nervous, but you know, as I said in the paper, he's an eight year old in tyre. It's a very different thing to training an eight year old gelding, I can tell you. So he, he, but he enjoys his training, I just haven't worked him hard in any way. And when you see a horse like this get the reaction he's getting, everyone here at York is giving him a round of applause. How does that make you feel? Is that sort of gatekeeper to horses at his ability? Yeah, it's sort of like, you know, it's an orchid, but it's kind of amazing horses. They, they do capture imagination because they have longevity. Congratulations, John. <laughs> Emotional moment, how hard is it 